What's up everybody? It's Chris and I'm back to react. Now today we're going to be reacting to the same childhood punishments by Tavs. Um okay, listen. I was I've been only been punished once and then the other times they would try to punish me, but then they kind of forgot about it. And I'm pretty sure it had to do with the fact that it was during the time that the telenovelas would be on. And they would kind of just be like, eh, like, if she wants to see it, she can see it. Like, this isn't really a punishment, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's gonna be nice. I'm not probably gonna sympathize with any of these, because I don't know how it was. But to see different kind of punishments, it's gonna be a perspective. So, let's get into it. I was a bad child. Oh yes, a very bad child. A little girl who deserved all the spankings. FBI, okay. open up! Yeah, FBI. Oh crap. We're gonna give you three seconds to open the door, or we're gonna kick it down and point our guns at you and yell, GET DOWN! Oh. That's what we do here. That's what we do! Wait, sir? Mr. FBI, sir? I swear it wasn't meant to sound like that. Damn it, it's the tone. Always the tone. I don't care what it is. If you don't open this door, I'm gonna break this fancy looking doorbell too. <laughs> Listen, I'm not playing these games either. Oh it's a false call. Get out of here before I call the cop. Oh, wait. All right, you asked for it. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's wait, a I'm beefy stuck. ass leg. Like. Anyways, I was a reckless, monstrous child back then. And okay. I probably deserve some of the punishments my dad gave me. I got my ass whooped a thousand different ways as a kid. Was it child abuse? Yes, absolutely. A hundred percent. No question about it. No doubt. Did I fight back? Sometimes. Did okay. I regret it? Yeah, bet. But if we're being <laughs> honest here, not really, because I made the same mistakes at least 50 times over again. Before oh, you all okay. start ripping Pops a new face <laughs> hole, I'm gonna back him up a bit and say he wasn't a complete villain. On his good days, he could be the most hilarious, insightful guy on Mother Earth. And on other okay. days, he'd become this guy. But nowadays, Aww. I can confidently say we're chill. We're good. This is him before and after he found Jesus in his heart and changed his old savage Asian dad ways. We agreed I could make this video about him as long as I coughed up a hundred bucks. So this is oh. in no way, shape, or form slander or defamation. Because it's a bribe. And the yeah. purpose of making this video? I don't know. I didn't plan on bringing this to the grave with me. I think it's worth sharing. If anything, <laughs> there's still a hell of a lot of families out there who consider an abusive parenting style normal. And if anyone dealing with this now is facing trauma, normal. just know it's far from anything to tolerate because it can really mess with you up there it so really pops can. used to have an anime antagonist childhood backstory himself with both his parents leaving the world at the age of 10 leaving him with a nutcase uncle who was always drunk had severe anger issues and constantly chased him around with an axe he so conveniently kept on his wall years later he died from a boating accident and pops was all alone i want to say the buildup of his violent childhood experiences developed his temperament issues later mm. on as well as his strict parenting style does that justify his actions at all well maybe a Lip. Hell no. This man hmm. was wildin'. This wasn't some game of past the abuse. My mom wasn't always around to stop him because she was busy at work. Uh, let me pause this. Okay, there is a fact that, yeah, does it justify it? I think that it's really hard to get out of an environment and forget certain ways. So we pass it on because that's the only way we think instead of thinking, I'd rather not repeat what has been taught and done to me to my child and instead do the opposite now some people do that but they do it to the extreme that they think a little bit of discipline will make them become who they didn't want to be there should always be a balance between discipline and between thing um between what happened in the past and the present in the future it's a bit it's it's hard to explain right now because i when i usually do these reactions it just comes out raw sounded weird but um yeah basically justifies it to me a little bit because of the environment but if it's like extreme punishment then there's gonna there's there's gonna have to have a little bit of drawbacks to that justification card yeah it was crazy at times but we found ways to put up with it I remember casually discussing with some of my friends a while back about the type of punishments their parents gave them. And not to make it a contest or anything like that, but their answers seemed kind of pale in comparison. It might also have to do with the fact that none of them had stereotypical strict Asian parents. We sat around one of those round tables in the backyard patio. You know the ones where you have the nostalgic yeah. late night combos with your friends? If you know, you know. Anyways, I'd act like one of those pretentious elders that always gotta one-up the millennials for some reason. That's what well, I do sometimes one time, too. I stole from my mom wallet and I got spanked a few times mm. 
<gasps> oh, ain't Looking that is something. Bad for you. I had to go to bed earlier for faking my report card grades. Ugh, so annoying. You had to sleep more? Sounds like Christmas. Oh yeah? <laughs> I had a time out and had to go sit in the corner for breaking another kid's nose. And what did we learn? I was grounded for a week for burning down my neighbor's house. Huh? What? I'm sorry. Why are you not in jail? I'm three years old. Oh, okay, so you oh. get a pass from the government or something. What about you? Okay, well, so this one time my dad- All garbage! Get out of here with that Mr. Softy nonsense! You young whippersnappers had it too easy. When I was your age- Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh, I was punished every day for being a peasant. I had to walk six hours up a mountain in negative 50 degree oh, weather gosh. to go to school while carrying a boar. So I could eat it raw during kindergarten snack time. Tough times make tough people. No snowflake gang. Alphas only. Yeah! Hardcore! <laughs> Who let this crackhead in here? Really? You dead ass barge in here comparing punishments like this is the oppression Olympics or something right now. Lay off, man. It's not that serious. Yeah, why are you so barbaric? You insolent. Who are you calling barbaric? Okay. My dad was never a man of discussion. Conversations between Pops and I would never last more than two minutes. Mm. Instead, he reminded me of those main menu character in RPG games where you get to choose your own weapon. Because he always had it ready somewhere. It'll oh, be damn. anything and everything. Glass cups, broomsticks, golf clubs, the TV, you name okay. it. Okay, so for the actual punishments now. Let's start with something tame. Like him breaking all my electronics as a kid. It was during my bedtime when what? I was caught playing the Game Boy Advance under the covers. I'm pretty sure he heard the noise from the Scooby-Doo game I was playing. So he walked over, pulled Wait, off what? the blanket. And I don't know what was going through my mind then. But I figured the best course of action was to pretend falling asleep then and there. <laughs> he thought I was being a smartass, which got him even more pissed. So yeah. he grabbed the Game Boy, walked into the kitchen, no. broke it in half, threw no. it in the sink, no. and turned on the water on full blast. Oh, you know, just to make sure it was never going to turn on ever. Ever again. I'm sorry, but was that all really necessary? Was then it, there was sir, that time he stomped on my iPod because I had a bad habit of listening to music at a volume that could make anyone go deaf. Didn't hear him calling my name from downstairs. He thought I was ignoring him. He broke my PSP in half, stomped my iPod Nano okay, and radio all at this, once this because he was mad about something sure. else I forgot. I played Toontown and Club Penguin like there was no tomorrow. So he pulled out the wires from my computer, broke the I, keyboard and mouse, I and threw it against the wall. I, I got expecting. the crystal clear message that this. I don't know what I was expecting i i i saw insane i wasn't expecting the type of shit i would see on jerry springer or maury i apologize for my assumptions that it would be a little less tame than i thought it would be i should have had higher expectations that's on me this man was extra as fuck. Sorry. Actually, a lot of moments, even as a kid, I was convinced, hey, maybe this guy's a psychopath after all. I remember when I was around nine and my brother was around seven, we came home from after school and my brother was hungry enough that the process of getting a plate, putting food on the plate, bringing a napkin, spoon and fork, and sitting uh -huh. down to eat seemed like too much of a chore for him. So what'd he do? Like most kids would, he climbed on top of a stool and took the food directly out the pot with his hands. Pops caught him no. as he was walking by and he immediately immediately stormed into the kitchen. If it wasn't for the way he made his entrance like some dark overlord, I wouldn't have thought, oh crap, what's gonna happen this time? He made his way over to the counter, pulled out the cutting board, and the next thing I knew, he was holding a plain old ordinary kitchen knife in his- Whoa! Hold up! Back it up! Put your hand on the cutting board. Huh? What? Say what now? No way, man, you're crazy. I said, put your hand there. Now. This boy looked like he was gonna shit his pants any moment now. Pops, you're gonna cut his hand off just for eating out the pot? He contaminated all of it. What a selfish thing he to did. do. Now you're gonna learn your lesson. I'm not gonna say it again. Lay it on there now. And then my brother ran away crying out the house before he could catch him. He waited outside until my mom came home and she scolded Pops for going too far with the threats and came back to comfort us. That's as much as she could do sometimes. Yeah. Needless to say, we never ate food from the pot with our hands ever. Kids, never do that. I'm sorry, but as a foodie, you just contaminated all the food with your gross ass hands. You didn't even wash it. Like, Yes, it was overkill. You should never chop off your child's limbs or anything just because of this. But don't stick it. And not only that, what if it had been hot? You would have get on some three degree birds or some shit in there. Like, don't do that. 
ever again. His loony acts that time could have given any kid PTSD. I've yeah. always had an unhealthy obsession with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I had a whole like bunch, I, six, but I didn't know what to do with I them. I used to have a blue bucket full of bootleg Yu-Gi-Oh cards I bought from the 99 cent store. They were my treasure, and I carried them everywhere like they were my babies. What a fucking weeb. It was one night while I was playing in the backyard garden and found some shiny bug Pokemon I've never seen before. It was bright and gleaming, and I thought it had a glow stick up its asshole. The first <laughs> thing that came to mind was... <laughs> See, I figured it was just another mosquito-type pest. So that ultra instinct just hit me like... Like, get the fuck out of my face. And I started squashing every single one I saw. Oh, wow. It made my hands start glowing green. Whoa. Danny Van Dom. Take that, bitch. Eat this. No, please. I have a fan. And boom. Oh, my God. I was trying to achieve my 50 combo streak. Pops caught me green-handed and towered over me after he saw the bug massacre I made. That'll show those hickey bugs. It went like bah, bah. Fuck, what did I do this time? And then he dragged me back inside while I had no idea what was going on. What did those bugs ever do to deserve that? I understand if it's mosquitoes or cockroaches, but fireflies? They're harmless and only exist to give light. Oh, I thought they were radioactive bugs or something, so I squashed them. Because you killed an innocent piece of nature, you'll be punished for it so you never make the same mistake again next time. He took my bucket what? of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, started ripping them piece but by piece, no! making me watch as he let them all fall in the trash. Sometimes he went in really deep with this life stuff and took it mad seriously. But being yeah. a kid, I didn't care about no damn bugs. You bet I was only thinking about my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, I That would night, too. I swore I would get him back one day. This last story took place during high school. Pops was always strict about making us go around a certain park at least five times every day and me and my brother hated it because we've been doing it for years and it made us feel like hamsters running around a wheel one day I mean, right after i came home from school i just refused to go to the park that day because there was a blizzard outside close to zero degrees and you probably couldn't even see where you were going because it was so dark I was so convinced Pops would make an exception just this once, but no. See, my brother was smart to stay over at his friend's house that day. Because when Pops came home, I just got out the shower and he was sitting there waiting for me. No hi, no hey, no nothing. He asked, did you go to the park? No, it's crazy out there. Get out. Wait, seriously? You heard me. Rain, snow, hurricane, end of blizzard. the world. Doesn't matter. She you go die. when I tell you to. Can I at least bring a jacket? Don't make me say it again. All right, fine, fine. Jeez. I'm going, asshole. With my hair still wet, wearing just a t-shirt oh, no. and shorts, I grudgingly headed towards the park. And as expected, there was not a single soul in sight in this godforsaken weather. And today's forecast was so brick it made a whole ass house. I will never forget that night. It was a beautiful day for hypothermia. A gorgeous night to freeze to death. Yeah. But I definitely would have appreciated it more if I was watching it in the theaters. And not experiencing the ice age firsthand. At that point, my hands, lips, and limbs were all frozen. I was practically standing there just waiting to so become one happened? of these. I knew hypothermia was going to kick in sooner or later just standing around there, and every second felt like an hour. I started pacing back and forth quickly in hopes of warming myself up. <sighs> Fucking hell. Man's out of his mind if he thinks this is going to build character. Because I didn't sign up for no Navy SEAL training. Yeah. For the thousandth time, I swore I was going to get him back someday. Yeah, um... It's it, it's it's gonna take a bit, but yeah. By the time I got home, there were icicles on my hair. Not or rather, even I, I hope. Like if you bent I my hair, that, you could hear it. Cluck. I don't know, but I didn't you even know what? it was possible what to hear saying? a sound Sorry. like that coming from hair till that moment. Nothing less than expected. I got a fever the day after that, and we never spoke a word about this. And that's it. Didn't want to make this video too long. All right, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say getting back at him, but I don't think that's happened. Or she's probably gonna say something later, but. For what she said in the intro, apparently bribing was a thing. So I, I don't know how that's going to work out. But okay, I'll share some for some other time. I am a low-key, high-key, very scared to hear about the other times. Back then, I had no idea how to deal with him. But since my brother was there, we struggled together. Pops purposely put us through tough experiences so mm -hmm. that we could develop a strong personality, get us mentally prepared for the real world, which might have helped in the dark ages. I don't think he had bad yeah. intentions then to teach us in ways it would be engraved into our minds. I could have sworn that I would have hated that guy forever. But years went by, he became more tolerant and tolerable, and I'm yeah. still plotting revenge against him. And our gut feeling got <sighs> the best of us and told us to forgive him. Also, I'm very glad that there was forgiveness, even though there are times where we don't want to forgive our parents or guardians for things that happened in the past. 
holding on to grudges actually really screws us up and it's better to actually forgive them we if we're not forgiving them exactly for them we're forgiving them to work on ourselves and to go forward in our lives that's what i've learned um but anyways that's all i wanted to say this was very <laughs> insane punishments and i am very thankful that i didn't have insane punishments such as these I'm I'm pretty sure that my dad actually had a lot of insane punishments when he was younger. And because of that, it might have shaped him into who he is today. Uh, so, yeah. There's different types of struggles when it comes to parenting. And even though I didn't have insane punishments, uh, there is a certain type of struggle that I received from my dad's side because of the way he was raised. So, anyways, uh... I hopefully the next video that showcases these punishments isn't going to be as bad, especially the cutting off the hand part that didn't happen, thankfully, but Jesus Christ. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my reaction to that. I will see all you beautiful, unique weirdos in the next video. I am out.